Hello fellow adventurers, we're here at the Bone Valley Fossil Farm uh, near Bowling Green, Florida. Uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of piles of dirt. This is dirt that's been dug from 15 or 20 feet below the surface and deposited here for us to go through to find fossils, and fossil shark teeth, fossil elephant teeth, who knows what we'll find. But we'll see you in a few minutes. Let me see. See what Woodland found? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's gorgeous. I'm looking for a whole shark next. That, that's a, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. That's a beautiful <laughs> tooth. Surprise for the nice. Look at that. I think that that is, that is a dolphin ear bone, I believe. A dolphin ear bone? Mommy, I found a dolphin ear bone. Wow. She's got plenty. Yeah. I swear we found something huge. Okay, let me see. Maybe you did. It's clearly huge. That is a very nice dugong rib. Nice color. Nice color. I like the color. I want it. Yeah, it's good. That's the biggest dugong rib we found today. Yeah. Yeah. Nana doesn't know what this is and she said I should come to you. Okay, well, let's see. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Whatever. Oh, is that a... That looks like a ray thorn. Hey, Eli, you your, your pants are getting wet, buddy. Pull them up. Pull them up. All right. All right, hold on. Give me your hands. Oh, she, I think that's a ray thorn. It goes on the tail of a big stingray. Cool. Yeah. Pull those pants up, dude. No, no, no. He thinks it's a ray thorn. I said a word pants. Okay. It's all on the tip of the tail. Not the tip. It's uh, along the back of a t the tail. It'll have, you know, a few of those the sticking spike. up. Oh, clay. You found some clay. I found clay. Nice. Today. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, we found clay. You have to. Oh, wow. It's a clay mine. What you got? Oh, you got massive clay. Whoa, baby. <laughs> well, we all have fun doing different things. Papa, look okay. at my clay. Wow, you both have nice chunks of clay. Whoa. That's a great find. I see clay. Get out of here. <laughs> Standing in the water is fun. Well, I think, I think some Let's see. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But oh you my. just, but you just. <laughs> I'm bringing along a set of three sifters of decreasing size: a quarter inch, a twelfth of an inch, and a twentieth of an inch. These will filter out sand and dirt, and leave gravel behind that I can examine later. These are also called classifiers and are often used for searching for gold. I'm looking for something valuable as well, microfossils. All right, so this is my setup. I have a specimen microscope or a binocular mi microscope, it's often called. Uh, it gives you a, a, a lot of space to work in between so that you can, you, you can uh, it's not like a, uh, you know, what you might consider a traditional microscope where you have very little space between the objective lens and the, uh, and the specimen that you're uh, magnifying. This one gives you a lot of room so that you can move stuff around. Uh, and connected to that I have a, a camera, a 16 megapixel camera, hooked up to a monitor so I, so I don't even need to look through the uh, through the eyepiece, I can just watch what's going on on the, on the television screen over there. I'm looking at gravel that I collected from the Bone Valley Fossil Farm, and notice I keep the, uh, uh, the latitude and longitude there and the date that I gathered it so that if I find something interesting, then I know exactly where it came from, and the, uh, the museum uh, may be very interested in, in things that I find. You just never know, especially looking at microfossils, which they don't spend a lot of time doing. So uh, <coughs> I'm lit by a couple of uh, LED uh, illuminators 
here so I get a nice bright uh, illumination and that is it uh, well I what I will do is I will gather some of the uh, gravel get just a little bit of it and then spread it around on the uh, this little plastic uh, container and now you can see on the screen what I have I can you know move this around and find stuff and then when I find something well I'll move, I'll move some things around with a with a toothpick a little cocktail toothpick I have and then if I want to remove it I'll just touch the tip of the uh, of the toothpick to my tongue and uh, and the, just that little moisture is enough that I can just touch the uh, the piece of gravel or shark tooth or whatever it is I find and tap it into this little uh, receptacle here to examine later. Shall we take a look? Uh, it wasn't long before I found some interesting stuff. This I don't know I don't know what this is, but it looks really interesting. This thing in the middle here. Yeah, I'll just grab that. I grabbed it with a brush, but I think the brush is going to get too much stuff. Okay, then look a little bit. Oh, oh what's this? this? Appears to be some a shark tooth, but it's not like any shark tooth I've ever seen. It's got instead of jagged uh, cusps and things, it's got this little smooth little lobes on it. So I'll have to take a look at that. Look at how shiny that is. It's very nicely fossilized. Love the color. This uh, Bone Valley uh, uh, fossils have a lot of have, that have white roots. Let's see what we got. We'll look at that later. Ah, or right next to it, just about. There's another shark tooth. This is definitely you know, more like what I would uh, uh, commonly see as a shark tooth. And there's this thing. No idea. No idea what it is. Maybe, well, idea. Maybe some kind of a tooth, possibly. It's hard to get a hold of. We'll get that thing a little moist in the tip of the uh, toothpick. So you can get a relative size. You know, this is a tiny little thing. A little bit later, I found this. This looks like an alligator tooth. You know, when I find large ones, this is what they look like. This may just be fooling me, but it looks an awful lot like an alligator tooth. I'll have to grab that and put it in, a little, put it in our little bin. Uh, right up above it, there's a, a cast of a, uh, of a uh, shell. Okay, on oh, this, this looks like some kind of a claw, maybe, maybe a tooth. No idea. I'll save it for later. We'll see. And this uh, looks more like maybe part of a crab leg or something like that. We'll grab that and look at it later. Ah, this is no doubt. This is a shark tooth. It's part of the root. The whole blade's there. Nice. Love that color. That orange color you get in the uh, in this Bone Valley stuff. Okay, see so if we can get that, get it into our app. This is going to take a little, a little larger. Ah, we get it. We got it. Okay. What do we got here? Ah, here we go. Now this is a pavement tooth from a ray. Notice it has a flat top, and if you could just flip it over, this is difficult to do with a toothpick. But if you can flip it over, there's a kind of a root structure, that, and these go together like, like pavement like bricks in a pavement to make a crushing plate okay and a stingray and there's some stuff in here what is that thing that could be a, a fifth spine you know, you know the, the 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 bones that go up on a fish you know, from the vertebra could be could be a tooth not sure Grab that and look at it later. Oh, there's a mollusk cast, but look at that black brownish thing to the left. That is a tooth, a crushing tooth from some small fish. Now, drums, redfish, have the same kind of tooth. 
but they're of course much larger, you know, just compared to the size of a toothpick. So this is some small fish that has crushing uh, teeth. I'm trying to get a look at the other side, hard to do, <laughs> but there it is. You know, it's just quite a bit different from that top. So what do we got here? Oh, look, another pavement tooth. You can see that root structure. Uh, if we can get a hold of that and get a look at it later under maybe more magnification. There we got it. Ah, another shark tooth. There, that orange color again with the white root. You can see the nutrient groove there in the white root too. See that uh, little depression in there? That's part of the nutrient groove. I'm not sure it is. I just know that's what it's called. Ah, another shark tooth. There are quite a few shark teeth, and most of them seem to have this orange color, which is pretty neat. Uh, the other with that white, whitish uh, root. That's that's a whole tooth. That's nice. Uh, see if we can get a hold of that and look at it under maybe more magnification, or maybe try to identify what kind of shark it came from. Some small shark, definitely. Uh, this tooth is a little bit bigger. It's broken. It's uh, on the left that uh, with the black blade. This is another common color combination you see in, in uh, Bone Valley fossils. It's a white root and a black blade. But it, again, it has a little bit of that reddish orange in the, in the blade too. Save that and look around see what else we can find. Oh, look, right next to it. Now this is odd, it's, it has the orange uh, uh, root and a nice gray blade, very shiny, very cool looking. Again, a very tiny, tiny shark. This is not a, a baby tooth and a large shark. I mean, uh, like a bull shark, the babies have shark teeth bigger than that. So this is a small shark. Now here we have, remember we saw that, that tooth, uh, the, that we said uh, was from a, a crushing type of a tooth. If I can get this flipped over, you can see that the other side of it, that's the root side of the tooth. And flip it over, come on, get over, get over, get over. Oh, there we go, look how black and shiny that is by comparison. So that's what, now in the course in the live uh, fish, it'll be white, but it, this uh, that enamel fossilizes this nice dark black. And what we've got here, that, uh, that orange thing, shark tooth. This shark, I know what it is. This is the uh, a bonnet, no, a, the Atlantic sharp nose shark. The sharp nose shark has these peculiar teeth. They're very tiny, and they're off it. They have that little angle off to the side. So there's a, a sharp nose shark tooth. And let's see. Move over a little bit and see what we got. And up in there. Oh, what is that? Look at that thing with, right in the middle bottom. That is a piece of a fish's jaw with those round crushing teeth in it. So that's part of the fish's palate. And, he, uh, and it would have, and you see the bottom, of that root that has that little hole in it, usually that little round depression, that, that root. I could flip it over again. Uh, ew, ew, ew. Oh, almost, almost. I want to see that shiny top again, see how many teeth we got in there. Oop, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five little, maybe six little teeth in there. They would make a crushing plate. Uh, I guess it fish ate like crawfish or maybe little clams or something like that and just smashed them. Okay, and this, no idea. It looks peculiar. Doesn't look just like some rock. It has some structure to it. Let's see the other side. Ah, oh, the other side's shiny black. And well, there's something I want to look at. Let's take this look at this later. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, look at that shark tooth. It almost hides and then boom, there it is. That is a beautiful tooth. Again, no idea what kind it is, but that's very cool. Look at those little cusps, uh, one on each side of the, the main blade has two little short blades and that nutrient groove is very distinct. Uh, OK, 
Okay, not, here we go. Pavement tooth. Here's a much larger one. So you can see this is the side that has the root. And if we can flip it over, it should have a smooth side on the other side. And that's what you'd see if you looked in the fish's mouth. There's a, there's a bunch of those like glued together to make a, uh, a flat, smooth plate for crushing. Oh, look at that down in the middle on the bottom. That we've been looking at little pieces, little casts of uh, shells broken, but this looks like a, a complete shell. It's not not broken at all. So it's a complete cast of some some little uh, mollusk. Okay. Oh, look at that too. That is awesome. Ah, oh, the whole thing has remineralized in this orange hard material, shiny. Beautiful. We got a big lobes of uh, root on that thing. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get to the other side. Easier said than done. And get in that door. Get in that door. Get, 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 get. Uh, 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 uh. Here. I just want to see the other side before we put it away. Oh, oh, there we go. Awesome. Nice. Beautiful little tooth. Love that shiny orange mineral that these things get turned into. Off we go. Look at you later. And let's see what else we got in here. I'll just move over a little bit and see what we see. What? What is that? Look at, oh, I know what that is. That is a tooth from a array. See those little lobes stick up? That's the root of the tooth. And then if you manage to flip it over, the, the top side looks is the shape of a uh, bicycle seat. And it should be smooth. Let's see if we can get this over, but very distinctive shape. There we go, there's the top part. You see that the root thing sticking out from it. And this is not the, uh, the crushing plate. You know, they have the, the pavement teeth that make crushing plates. That's the tooth that goes along the lip. And what have we got here? This looks like could be a... Sh oh, that's a bit. It's like we got two fossils in one, one screen here. This is another one of those... Uh, one of those teeth, one of those uh, stingray teeth. See, the two lobes are different. Maybe a different stingray or a different part of the stingray's mouth. It definitely has those two little lobes and then a bicycle seat shaped top. And then there's a little claw looking thing on the bottom left. Uh, here, oh, this is a beautiful tooth. Just look at the colors in this thing. See, I got black and yellow and orange. What did you find, Dad? So all these fossils came from about a tablespoon of the gravel that we gathered. We got shark and ray teeth, pavement teeth, fish crushing teeth, and a whole bunch of mystery fossils that we'll just have to identify later. Our adventure began in the field, digging through dirt and clay, and ended up in the lab looking through a microscope. I've got enough gravel here to keep the adventure going for months. So Lily, the next time adventure comes and asks you out to play, just say yes! Yes! Yes!